Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk further on the burial, the bizarre burial of Enrico Caruso. Now, I did a video a few days ago on it. But you know something, a lot more information has come to light. And so I needed to redo this and add more to it. Because I have now photographic evidence of Caruso's body. As it was long after he died. Now once again, when Caruso did die... He would be uh, embalmed in a special formula that was devised by Alfredo Salafia. Alfredo Salafia uh, is the individual who embalmed Caruso. Um, you may be familiar with the little girl uh, who's known as Rosala um, Lombardo the little two-year-old girl that is so well-preserved. This is also another one of his works. And she is still viewable today, actually. But Caruso was embalmed by him and placed into um, a glass casket. Now, I had a talk with someone that was there and they said it was difficult to see the body in angles. Now, the only thing I'm guessing is that directly down, you could see well. But perhaps from as a child's viewpoint, from the side, maybe it was a little difficult to see. Well, my friend, um, Mark Suck, was here. We were, we've talked about a myriad of things and... He's a very smart, smart young man. It's interesting, you know, to have a conversation with someone in the history of sound recording so, so well-versed in so much. Every time I mentioned something, he would finish what I started talking about. And continuing with uh, the whole thing with the Caruso tomb. He knew about that too. <laughs> And he knew very interesting things and had some very interesting evidence that I did not. And he shared it with me, and I wish to share it with you. Now, as I mentioned, Caruso was laid uh, in his casket and put on display in his tomb as soon as it was completed. And there he could be viewed until 1929, eight years after his death, looking like he was sleeping. Amazing embalming. In 1947 or so, 48, after World War II, it might have been earlier. It could be somewhere between 1945 and 1948. Let's just put it that way. His tomb had to be repaired from bombing in World War II. Therefore, all the caskets had to be pulled out. And the Caruso tomb was opened and his glass casket was carried out. And he looked the same. I would almost be willing to say that Caruso probably looks still pretty good in his tomb. We won't know that. We won't see that because since it was resealed in the 1940s, he hasn't been looked at again. But even still, if it was pulled out in the mid to later 1940s, this is like 25, 27 years after his death, and he still looked fine. Well, I wanted to share this picture with you. It's pretty amazing to see. And it's a photograph of Caruso, maybe 1925, 27, in a fresh outfit, you can see. 
and a little boy leaning over his his uh, casket and looking down at him. And this is the photo. That is Caruso in his in his glass coffin. There's a little boy looking at him. And this is Caruso. Nice outfit, new clothes. You know, the operatic tenor Tito Schipa used to redress Caruso. Um, and until 1929, this is what you would see. And in the 1940s, this is what they would see. And I guess now, by chance, maybe that's still what they would see. But it's really bizarre how Caruso was entombed, put on display. And today, you can go there, but you cannot see him. Well, he's been dead nearly a hundred years now, so perhaps he isn't quite as pretty as, as he looks in the pictures, but isn't that macabre? Isn't that strange? And isn't even more strange <laughs> that I mention this to a friend visiting from South Korea. And he had a picture. It's always good to talk to people. You learn. You know, I've been trying to learn all my life. And when you think you've learned everything, you turn around, you discover you don't know that much at all. So thank you, Mark, for the picture. And I'm glad I can share it with you all through uh, his generosity. Thank you.